to Mo's Life in a Bag and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am super excited because a lot of you are brand new here on my channel and I am so happy to have you guys. I hope that y'all are here to stay. If you are already a part of the crew and you've been here since day one, then y'all already know that your girl is a flight attendant and recently on my channel I launched a brand new series, a flight attendant series because y'all know that I love taking y'all to work with me. And you guys seem to really really enjoy the series like all the comments, the likes, any type of feedback that you guys give me is like very much so appreciated and I love when you guys interact with me because honestly that's why I'm on YouTube because you have such close interactions with your supporters and other creators and I'm happy to be here with y'all. If you are new here and you haven't joined the crew yet, please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a brand new video here on my channel. If you are already a part of the crew, like I said, thank you so much for returning, you guys. With all of that being said, today's video is going to be me preparing the Bee Loves Life Smackalicious Garlic Butter Sauce. Y'all already know that in a previous video, I prepared her Smacklicious Mild Seafood Sauce, which was very good. And if you guys have not watched that video yet, please go check that video out and then come back to this one with me making her newly released Smackalicious Garlic Butter Sauce, y'all. It's just, I don't know. And then she got the garlic and green. Like, it's the details for me. Like, actually, you guys, I also have her spicy smackalicious sauce and I've been holding on to this for quite some time and I never got around to actually filming a video making the spicy but when she came out with the garlic butter I was just like maybe I should do something that's you know it's like new and it's like real popping right now so and I've already done the Cajun sauce just in the mild so I'll just do the garlic butter sauce and so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video i just wanted to show y'all that i do have the spicy and if you guys are interested in seeing me make the spicy you guys go down in the comment section below and let me know but yes you guys i grabbed a hold of two of her not just one y'all not just one but two of b love's life smackalicious garlic butter seasoning packs y'all and i'm super excited be love i love you girl you you my home girl like we home girls hopefully you watching this right now because y'all be love's life is most definitely subscribed to my channel and i'm gonna put in some receipts right here so y'all can see that the queen of seafood boils is subscribed to most life in the bag so if you're not subscribed i don't know what you're doing like i don't know what you're doing i got my wine today y'all know i love me some wine it Honestly, it's just everything. If you have not checked out my vlog of going to Atlanta with Adrian and going to the winery, y'all, please go check that video out and then come back to this one. But y'all know that your girl loves her some wine, that ATL weekend vlog going to the winery is literally like one of the funniest videos on my channel and it's a video of mine that I actually can like watch on repeat so y'all go check that out but i did want to have some wine with me because this is a more chill video it's nothing flight attendant related and you guys seem to love this as well on my channel y'all know your girl is not trying to be in a box like I am more than a flight attendant. I want my channel to represent more than me just being a flight attendant. And I want you guys to be able to enjoy me in different environments of my life. And this is one of them, me just chilling at home. So if y'all are at home or even if you're out and you're watching me right now, please make you a drink, grab you a drink, turn your girl on and let's just vibe. So Adrian has you guys adrian is behind the camera right now just so y'all know say hey to adrian say what's up adrian he's gonna be returning to my channel for those of you who may be wondering he's coming back on the channel you guys will see adrian very very soon so stay tuned for that but okay we're gonna get started so 
the okay so i got my pot adrian got my stuff out for me he pulled out my pot he pulled out my cutting board because i'm definitely gonna need this this to stir uh, the ingredients for the garlic butter sauce are pretty much the same as the ingredients for her cajun butter sauce the only difference really is in the cajun butter sauce it calls for coke and in the garlic butter sauce it calls for sprite so that's the only difference i'm very very curious to see like what kind of flavor the sprite is gonna bring out of the sauce because i don't know it's just different you know like who really be putting sprite in a butter sauce you know so i'm super excited to see what type of flavor this brings in the sauce and the only thing that i don't have is the chicken broth it calls for one cup of chicken broth but it also has on here that you can use water and just like her cajun butter sauce you guys all the ingredients and what you need and how much of what you need is listed on the back and as some of you may have noticed this seasoning pack is a lot smaller than her mild and spicy cajun butter seasoning pack so we're gonna see i'm gonna follow the directions to the t exactly how miss b love did it and we're gonna make some garlic butter sauce y'all i'm super excited first thing first for the sauce okay let's turn on the eye we're gonna put it on medium to high heat so we're gonna do that so we're gonna turn this on so the first step in making her garlic butter sauce is to add two sticks of unsalted sweet cream butter or butter substitute so i got my butter right here and if y'all watched the last video her mild cajun sauce called for four sticks of butter i think because this packet is much smaller it only calls for two sticks of butter so i'm kind of interested in seeing like if it's going to produce the same amount of sauce what you think i didn't even think about that what you think okay okay so two sticks of butter i actually let this butter sit out so it can already like go ahead and soften up we're gonna put this over here and my hands are clean i wash my hands okay i wash the onions off camera y'all know i i do stuff off camera so don't be like oh she didn't wash her hands she nasty no i wash my hands you sure i'm <laughs> i'm positive i wash my hands okay okay one then we're gonna do two sticks of unsalted butter. We're gonna put this up here. Let me get my paper towel. And let's take a little sip because you know I told you guys to have a drink with me. So hopefully, you know, we what 10 minutes into the video. Let's go ahead and have a toast to today. Today is the today is Friday. It's the weekend for me. I don't know when this video is coming out, so I don't really know what day of the week is gonna be, but it's happy hour somewhere in the world, right? Oh y'all. So the wine that I'm having tonight, you guys, is Black Girl Magic Riesling. And it's really, really good. I normally don't go for Rieslings. I normally go for like Chardonnay. And sometimes I can go for a good Pinot Grigio. Sometimes I can go for a good Sauvignon Blanc. But I really am a Chardonnay type of girl. But this right here is actually not bad. I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Are you sharing? I have a glass over here. Of course, babe. Do you want some Black or Magic Riesling? I mean, yeah. Of course. Tell me when. That's good. That's good. I got to record now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, yeah, this wine is by the McBride Sisters Collection. Um, and I really, really like it. Like I said, I'm not really into Riesling, but if you guys like a sweet but still very crisp white wine then this is for you so it's sweet but it still has a little oomph at the end you know what i'm saying but yeah y'all that's what i'm drinking so we're gonna put back in the refrigerator because as y'all know white wine gotta stay cold because it tastes the best when it's cold okay oh that's melting fast did you show them that i showed them okay oh my god on medium high heat but i think it's melting like that because i had it sitting out Mm. And I didn't, you know. Okay, let's move on because this, okay. One half of a medium sweet onion thinly sliced. Okay, I remember this step. So we're gonna go ahead and chop up an onion. 
Now, I like onions, like I like the flavor of onion. Like I literally put onions on everything. So I'm gonna put two onions. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these onions y'all. And then as soon as I have the onions cut, I'll be back. Just finished cutting up the onion and I added it all to the butter. And as y'all can see, this is just, it just be looking so good, like with the butter and the onions. Like, I think this is my favorite part, adding the onions to the butter. And B-Love says that you want your onions to be translucent. So we are gonna just let these simmer in this melted butter, y'all. I actually decided to just use one onion because it seemed like enough and then y'all know like this seasoning pack is a lot smaller. So I just figured we would just do one onion even though I really love onions. We're gonna save this onion for something else y'all because I love me some onions so it's gonna be used. So okay, we got our melted butter. Ooh babe, show them that, show them that. Look, it's cooking. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, bubbles. It bubbling, look. It's good. It's, it's, it's steamy. Okay, step two. I mean, one, step three. One, two, three, babe. Step three. So I did the two sticks of unsalted butter. I did the onion. You know what? This actually calls for one half medium sweet onion. And I went to Cordelia's. Y'all, I have a part-time job, you guys. I work at a neighborhood full service grocery store, Cordelia's Market in Harbor Town in downtown Memphis. That is my part time job. When I'm not flying, you guys can catch me there. However, this calls for a half of a medium sweet onion, and we got sweet onions in Cordelia's. And actually, when I went to Cordelia's to get the onions and the lemons and stuff like that, I forgot to tell you this. This guy, he was just talking to me in the produce section, and he started going on and on about sweet onions and how they are just like so sweet. They taste like an apple. You could just take the sweet onion and just eat like like that, like like an apple. And he was just going on and on about the sweet onions, and it's crazy that she asked for sweet onion. And I use the white onion. Beloved always says, make the sauce your own. Yes, she do be saying it. Do it to your liking. But it do say sweet onions, and Cordelia's got sweet onions, so. I feel some type of way about that. Okay, so anyway, we added the onion, y'all. Okay, step three. One to one half cups of minced garlic. So with the Cajun butter sauce, be love as you to use the minced garlic, right? So that's what we use. You know, the minced garlic comes in the jar, the little jar, you can get the larger size. For the garlic butter sauce, she actually suggested and recommended that you use whole peeled pieces of garlic and run it through like your ninja or your blender and get it all chopped up and do it that way. The rest should say one to one half cup. I think I'm just gonna use all of this. I'm gonna open it. We're gonna open it. We're gonna open it. We're gonna see. Okay, let's see. Let's open it. I got this from Kroger, y'all. And I know Kroger has peeled garlic and normally don't look like this. Like, am I tripping? It's just straight wrapped. This is new. They okay. keep it they keep it fresher longer too. Okay, well good, good. This so one, two, three, four, five. What's Gosh. the What's the, how much does it say on the bag? Like what what ounces or what does it say? It's six ounces. So. How and the directions, the ingredients call for one to one half cup. I don't know the, the metrics. What they say on the, for one cup, you how many ounces? One cup is eight ounces. So yeah, so. So both of these will be 12 ounces. So yeah, so. So just a little more than eight. So, so yeah, so well, one, probably one more pack. One or two more packs of those. Two more, we'll do two more. Two more, that should be close enough. Well, she bubbling. She is really bubbling. The butter and the onions, they hold them down the floor in the pot till we add some more. Two. Yeah, that's, that's, that should be about right. All right. We got a little blender over here we're gonna use. And, babe, will you give me that part? We're gonna put her, we're gonna plug her up right here. And we're gonna go ahead and put the garlic. Let me get some scissors, cut this open. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut this open. 
and then just point it in here. Okay, this is exactly how she did it, y'all. Like she, oh, move, Grizz. Move. Tell the people, Grizz. They know Grizz. Hey, buddy. Grizz, we told you to get on your place. Sit. Grizz, sit. Grizz, down. Down. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Stay right there for a few minutes. Okay, y'all. That was a little commercial break. No, no, we had commercial. No, it was a little commercial break. We're gonna put this in here. So I'm gonna do all of these packets of garlic, but I don't think I'm gonna blend them at the same time because, oh, but do you think that once I blend it up, I should pour it in the measuring cup? All right, why would you or do that? Just pour you, it in there. One, one bag was six ounces. Okay. It's, so you add two more, so you probably a look a little more than eight, which is fine because you love garlic. So you could just you eyeball stuff anyway. So true, I do. So you 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 probably a little over eight, but you like garlic. Okay. And then, but I don't want it to get like stuck in the blender, you know. Like, is this well, just you can just blend it up and pour it in the cup, pour it in the measuring cup, and then wait. Or I'll, I'll just put it in here. That way, I don't have to even dirty up the measuring cup. True. I'm just put that on, and then it's gonna be real loud, y'all. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so that was what four packs of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this into the pot with the butter and the onions just like straight out of here. So boom, ooh, y'all. Ooh, we gotta get all of it, come on. Yes. Ooh, it's smelling so good. Put this on here. And this is three packs of the garlic. Shake it up. Adrian says to shake it up, y'all. We're gonna shake it up. We're gonna give her another little run. Okay. I am so, y'all, I'm sorry. I know y'all can't like smell this, but it smells really good. All right. You know, beloved, she does say make it to your liking or whatever, so. I'm going to add an extra ingredient in my garlic butter sauce that she doesn't add in hers. I'll put this in the sink. This garlic butter that I get from Kroger. I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, and we're gonna add, what, like two tablespoons? Two, what, like, like, let me see. And we're gonna add like two tablespoons of the garlic butter in there. And this is just my own little, you know, to my liking. She says, make it to your liking. And I don't know, this may be good. So if you guys have like a local Kroger or Publix or something in your area, go pick up this garlic butter. And if it tastes really good, then you guys can add this in as well because I honestly think that it's gonna add a lot of flavor to the sauce. Now that we got the melted butter, the onions and the garlic and the garlic butter, we just gonna stir this all in and I'm so sorry that you guys cannot smell how good this smells. Like this smells amazing. The onions and the garlic, oh my gosh. This literally smells so good. So we're just gonna give this a nice little stir. Babe, it smells so good. And we put chopped garlic and garlic butter in in there, so we gonna have a real garlicky, garlic butter, smackalicious seafood sauce, y'all. So next we have one half cup of pickled ginger. Y'all know I was like real weary about the ginger with the Cajun butter sauce. And after having the Cajun butter sauce a few times in some of my videos and even off camera, I feel like I can taste the ginger in it and I'm not that big of a ginger fan. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna just add a little bit of the ginger. I wanna leave in every ingredient that B-Love uses, but I also want to really enjoy it entirely. So 
I'm just gonna add a little bit of ginger. And I feel like in the last video, I added the juice from the ginger as well. So I'm not gonna do that either. I'm just gonna drain out the juice that's in here and then chop up just a little bit of ginger and we gonna put that in there. Like I said, I just basically, I just drain the juice out of here off camera. And honestly, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Very light. Woo! It's very strong. Y'all know this be the ginger that be on your plate right next to the wasabi we eat sushi. She calls, she calls for ginger and the ingredients. So I'm just gonna use like very little because honestly, I feel like it could be like cilantro or something like when you chop it up, it makes it even more flavorful. So we're gonna use very little ginger this time, y'all. We're not gonna use what she recommends, which is a cup and a half. We're just gonna do a little bit. Four on Chris. Want some of that garlic butter sauce? He been out right, yeah, cause you said he pooped. I'm just gonna get us a little choppity chop chop. Boom. We're gonna put that in. We're gonna do a little bit, y'all. And I'm gonna do the cup and a half. One cup. Let me see, cause in my Hello Fresh video, I was a little bit off with the amount of water that was supposed to be added so that I made. And y'all really came for me in my comments about that. Like y'all really came for me. So let me make sure I get this right. Instead of adding one half cup, show the people, babe, so they won't come for me. Instead of adding one half cup of pickled ginger, which is optional, which she said, I just added a little bit of ginger. Okay, you guys, for, all, for those of you who was coming for me in my HelloFresh video, I just did my own little amount. It's a very small amount of ginger, so we're gonna stir that in with the butter, the onions, the garlic, and the garlic butter. We're gonna stir in the ginger. It's still smelling very amazing, y'all. And we're gonna turn this up a little bit because I want it to kind of like get like to a boil. I'm trying to bring it to a boil. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay, seasoning, water, Right, vinegar. Okay, y'all, we almost done. We almost done, y'all. So I brought this to a boil. As y'all can see, it's boiling. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Too much wine? As soon as I opened it, y'all, it just choked me from the smell it. <coughs> the, the seasoning pack is very strong. It went all up in my, all up here. So you, you girl was just having a little coughing attack, but it's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in, y'all. We added in one pack of the garlic butter smackalicious sauce or seasonings. And we're gonna stir her in. Oh my goodness. It looks just like when B-Love makes it. Yes. Y'all, it'd be so crazy to me how it'd be like transforming colors. Like with the Cajun sauce, it turned red. And with this sauce, which was like majority brown, the seasonings was like a darker color, it's a brown. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. If you want to actually purchase the sauce, order and purchase the sauce, just go to Amazon and go to the search bar and type in Be Loves Life Smackalicious Garlic Butter Sauce and it will come right up. I think it's like what, bae? Like, $13? $13, $14. $13, It's cheaper than her other one because it's smaller than her Cajun butter sauce. If you want to purchase the sauce, go to Amazon and order it off Amazon, you guys. Grace, there will be no playing with your toys while mommy is recording. And I bet he won't do it again. How much? How much you want to bet? $20. $20, he won't do it again. All right. Come take a look, come take a look here. This is what it's looking like. 
with the seasoning pack being added in. The onions are very translucent. The garlic is mixed in there. The garlic butter we put in there and then just a little bit of ginger that I added y'all. So after you add in the Smacklicious seasoning pack, you're gonna add one cup of chicken broth or water. We're gonna do water. So I'm gonna take the measuring cup and I'm gonna do one cup of water. We're gonna add in one cup of water. Ooh, that honestly look like that really loosens it up. And then we're gonna, after the water, we're gonna add four ounces of Sprite, which is optional, y'all, but we're gonna go ahead and add the Sprite in, okay? She uses a smaller bottle of Sprite, so I was kind of nervous about buying this liter, because this is one liter. But since I have my measuring cup, and the only thing that's been in here is water, we could just add the Sprite in. So four ounces. Boom. Ooh, babe, what do you think this is about to taste? Should I do a little less than this? Mm, that's fine, it's just not much at all. Cause, <sighs> four ounces of Sprite, we're gonna add her in. Okay, guys, the last step is one tablespoon of vinegar, so we're gonna go ahead and add that in. And then after that, the last ingredient that I wanna add actually is lemon. So, which she doesn't have on there, but I'm gonna add lemon. So she asked for one tablespoon of vinegar. We're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna move. Well, we're gonna keep that because I'm gonna have to cut my lemon. So that's the last step, y'all. Like the last step for the sauce is to add one tablespoon of vinegar, bring to a boil, enjoy, blah, blah, blah. So that's the last step, but I am gonna add some lemon to mine. So I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'll do one lemon, one whole lemon, freshly squeezed. I'm gonna use my little tool over here that I got from Home Goods, and we're gonna squeeze a whole lemon. So we're gonna do this. Don't you just love these things, guys? It just you don't have to get any of the seeds. It's just great. Okay, put that. Then we're gonna put this one in there and get all of this good lemon juice, fresh. Oh, oh, oh! We gonna get all, we're gonna get all of this fresh squeezed lemon juice, y'all. So we're gonna move her over here, and we don't need this lemon. And we done with the Sprite, so you guys, we are done. Oh, y'all. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit more because she says to bring it to a boil, but that water really loosened it up. So you add chicken broth and water. I chose to add water because honestly, I just forgot to get the chicken broth at the store. But this is kind of what it looks like, y'all. You can see the onions in there. You can see the garlic. We're gonna let this come to a boil. I actually have some seafood, you guys. I got some crab legs. I got some lobster tails. I got some shrimp. I got all the seafood together, y'all. So I'm actually gonna do a taste test for you guys because I do have the sauce made. B Love actually recommends that you let the sauce sit but I'm super excited to try it because I mean, it's a garlic butter sauce and everybody loves garlic butter with their seafood. So I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more so this can start boiling, I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna do like a little taste test for you guys. So I'm gonna let you guys get a look. It honestly, it smells like the Cajun sauce, kind of, but not entirely. It really has a, a really good garlic smell to it, you guys. So this is it. I have it boiling right now. I just wanted to taste a little bit of this right now while it's like hot. I'm gonna let it cool off just a little bit and then I'm gonna pour some of the sauce in this bowl, this king crab that I have. I have like other seafood, like I have king crab, I have lobster, and I have shrimp. So that's gonna be like the taste test that I give y'all. 
but this right here this honestly is what i would do off camera i would taste it like a little bit first just a little bit of it first but i'm gonna go ahead and taste it fresh out the pot for you guys because i mean y'all are part of the crew and like we love each other right so i'm gonna do that for y'all like i'm gonna give y'all my very first initial reaction y'all like my very first reaction so i'm gonna let y'all get one more look of all that garlic butter greatness i do want y'all to get my initial reaction oh y'all look at that look at the oh my god going to get some of this king crab we're gonna dip her in here oh it's hot y'all Put some onions. Oh, ooh, it's hot. We finna taste it. We finna taste it. Put some more. Mm. Okay, okay y'all are about to get my first reaction to tasting the garlic butter sauce. But get them a close up. Ooh, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> 